Hey, welcome everybody. I'm John Zadar. I'm the host of On Top and Hot. And today I do have a hot stock to share with you. I seriously want you to look at this stock immediately. This is AppTech Payments Corp, ticker APCX. They are a fintech business. Fintech means financial technology. The fintech sector is exploding right now, folks. Fintech companies are popping up everywhere like dandelions in my lawn. And the problem is, is that each fintech company has its own novel, innovative breakthrough technology on how they're going to create seamless payments. Whether those payments go from us to a business, uh, getting money from the bank, sending money to a friend, whatever it is, they're trying to bring it all together so it's nice and easy and cost efficient. But the problem is they're not getting it done well. They're bringing out new technology that's never been tested. They're putting it out on the market and they're learning what the bugs and the kinks are and they're fixing it as it goes along. And the truth of the matter is, it isn't truly seamless. You see, a bank would have one type of code and platform that they're using and a business has another code and platform. And they're so different, they can't communicate to each other. So somebody has to write a piece of code, a translator, if you will, and put it in the middle. But then you got to create gateways and tunnels so that the money can move. But you want it secure, so you've got to add more code for security layers. And what you end up with is patchwork, a Frankenstein just to finalize a financial transaction. And what this company is doing, Aptech, is they are making it truly seamless. They have got patented technology where they have created a omni-channel, an all-in-one platform that encompasses everybody doing everything. Just like my body. I've got lots of different pieces, but I'm not a robot. I don't have to worry about tweaking my leg, making it tighter. Everything works synergistically and harmoniously to get the job done the easiest way possible. So looking at the description of the company, they tell us that AppTech Payments Core is developing a modular and highly scalable and secure FinTech platform that is set to fuel the future of commerce. Our platform drives business to business, business to consumer, and peer-to-peer -peer capabilities in payments as a service and banking as a service, including cryptocurrency payments and contactless payment options like text to pay, QR, mobile to mobile, and payments in the metaverse. The APCX platform powers commerce so our clients, including software as a service, e-commerce, technology, retail, financial, and consumer brand companies can deliver seamless commerce experiences to their customers when, where, and how they want to transact. You know, the best word I can use is super app. Now, they don't ever use the word for themselves, and we don't have super apps over here in this country, really, but they're huge over in China. And two of the biggest financial super apps over there right now is on WeChat and Alipay. They have got the lion's share of the digital payments over there. That's because they connect everything. I mean, think about this, folks. How many apps do you have on your phone? 20? 30? 50? And how many of those go to messaging? How many go to emails, to your music? Uh, you probably have one for your bank. You probably have one for PayPal or Venmo. Maybe a couple for your credit cards. And you probably got one for cryptocurrency. Wouldn't you like to have them all integrated into one so you didn't have to bounce around, have this one excluded, hope you could use this one? That's what this company does. Let's take a look at their website and get a closer look. We got a lot of information we could consider over here, but I want to focus in on what is most important. What sets this company apart from every other company? What sets this company ahead of every other company? This company owns patents. See, the company's been around for about 10 years and they've acquired like four companies in the last 10 years and most of them brought some patents, some technology with them that this company acquired. Now, the company hasn't actually put their patents in use yet, but their patents are being used. Fact of the matter is they have 400 forward citations. I know that sounds like a bad thing, but it's actually good. What it means is somebody is using their technology to create new technology. Their patent has been cited 400 times as being the cornerstone for new technology that is being used by companies like Apple, Google, Mitsubishi, Samsung, Visa, and hundreds of others. That's right. Their technology has already been proven to work. 
Remember what I was saying about all those other fintech companies? They're experimenting. They're coming out with their new novel breakthrough technologies, putting it on the market and tweaking it as it goes along. Their technology is already proven and they're just about ready to launch, folks. So I want to take a look at some of these patents, show you what is protected, show you what is already out there and they have the rights to. This first pack of patents they just got here recently. This newly acquired patent portfolio is focused on the delivery, purchase, or request of any products or services within a specific geolocation and time parameter provided by a consumer's mobile phone anywhere in the United States. This portfolio houses the patent that protects all advertising on a mobile phone, including in-store mobile applications. And you're going to understand why more when we look at another patent here system and method for delivering web content to a mobile device. You're not going to believe that they own the rights to this. These patents allow companies to send URLs in a text message. They are responsible for helping to create the industry's protocol known as Wireless Access Protocol Push, also known as WAP. You've probably heard of WAP. WAP is very commonly used when you receive a text message with a link to download content or an application to your mobile phone. Every single one of us have used that technology and this is the company that owns the patent to it. Mobile to mobile payment system method. This patent was developed for moving money from cell phone to cell phone, person to person or person to business. We believe it sparked the creation of the P2P, that is peer-to-peer -peer payments industry by allowing users to move money by text message, click, tap, or scan. Folks, are you getting excited here yet? They own the rights to texting peer-to-peer. -peer. If you're gonna move money like that, they're the ones that own the rights to it. Anybody that's using this technology, by all legal rights, should be paying this company something. They could pursue it if they wanted to. They aren't right yet, but the fact is they own the technology. Computer to mobile, two-way chat system and method. I had no idea that they had this patent, and it's pretty bizarre considering they're mostly into financials, but the fact of the matter is WeChat is like Facebook over in China and they have connected money to Facebook so that people can move money around right in the Facebook application, if you will. This patent allows for communication from a computer to a mobile phone device using text messaging. This technology is most used in social media messenger apps or chat features. When chatting with your friends on your favorite platform, the messages are not moving from cell phone to cell phone. Rather, the messages you send through your phone are sent to the app's computer and processed and then routed to the receiver's mobile device. Now I want to show you a little bit of information inside their most current financial. We're going to be taking a look at some facts and figures now about this company and we're going to glean all this information out of their most recent financial report. This is their 10Q, their quarterly report that just came out here in June. Now, if you really want to know about a company, folks, forget about your Google searches. Honestly, just use a 10K or a 10Q. Jump into the most recent one and they're going to tell you everything you want to know. They'll tell you how the company started. They'll discuss every single deal they've ever made. They'll talk about the financials. They'll talk about the share structure. They'll even tell you what they are most scared of, their biggest risks. And you're not going to get that in any press release. I guarantee it. Now, there's a lot of information here. We're not going to cover it all. I guarantee it. I just want to point out a few key pieces of information you should be aware of, starting with their finances. First thing we need to know is we do have to add three zeros to any of the numbers down here, or it just isn't going to make any sense. And we are comparing June of this year to December that just passed. Six months difference. So, the total assets for this company at the end of June of this year was 16000 no, no, no. Remember those zeros? They make a huge difference here. $16 million is what they're holding in assets. And only six months ago, they only had $7.5 million. So they have more than doubled their assets in just the last six months. What's even more impressive, they have more assets and liabilities. They've only got $5 million in liabilities, so they are already $11 million ahead of the game. Now, when we look at their revenues, I'm a little surprised. I didn't know they were making any money, to be honest. They haven't launched yet, and that's why I'm telling you about this. They're about ready to launch right 
now. And with all their IP, this sort of fintech company is gonna make a ton of money. First off, this sort of business has very little overhead, this digital transaction stuff. And because it's such high frequency, they're gonna have a lot of business. So they are ready to launch now. Now is the time to look at it. The company has made some money this year. They made $123,000 compared to the same period of time last year. They made $151,000. Now it's nice to see them making money even if I don't know where it's coming from. But this ain't nothing compared to what's to come. Now let's take a look at some information. I've got a few things highlighted here. We'll have to bounce around a little bit. Please bear with me as I scroll. Aptech Payments Core is a fintech company headquartered in Carlsbad, California. The company's patented and proprietary software will provide progressive and adaptable products that are available through a suite of synergistic offerings directly to the merchants, banking institutions, and business enterprises. They've got lots of different products and they can tailor make whatever the companies, the banks need. Easy peasy. Aptech is developing an embedded highly secure digital payments and banking platform that powers commerce experience for its clients and their customers as well. Our processing technologies can be taken right off the shelf or tapped into via our RESTful APIs. You know, I guess the best way to think about it is drag and drop, cut and paste. You don't have to know anything about it. They've got everything built. All you got to do is put the pieces together and voila. Now let's take a look at some of these deals I was talking about. These go back nine years forward. In 2013, Aptec merged with Transcendent One, whereby Transcendent One and its management took controlling ownership of the company. In 2017, the company acquired assets from Global Tel Media Inc. The assets included patented enterprise grade software for advanced text messaging. In addition to the software, the acquisition included associated databases, four patents in text technology, and additional intellectual property for mobile payments. In 2020, Aptech entered into a strategic partnership with Infineos to extend its product offering to include flexible, scalable, and secure payment acceptance and issuer payment processing that supports the digitization of business and consumer financial services and the migration of cash and other legacy payment types to contactless cards and real-time payment transactions. They're covering the basis here. Text messages, mobile payments, contactless, real-time payments. They're doing it all. Then here in December, they changed their name and they changed where they are registered. They are now out of Delaware and their name now is Aptech Payments Corp. And as I said, they did uplist to the NASDAQ on January 7th, 2022, and they did it through a reverse split, which has now made the float really small. It is down to 11 million. They made another deal here in April of this year. This is where I think the assets jumped. In April 2022, the company fully executed a definitive agreement to acquire Hot Hand Inc., a patent holding company. These patents are focused on the delivery, purchase, or request of any products or services provided by a consumer cell phone anywhere in the United States. Additionally, Hot Hand's family of patents include a patent that protects advertising on a store's mobile application when the cell phone is in the store and the ads shown are being triggered by geolocation tagging. Aptech is currently integrating the Hot Hands intellectual property into an elite digital platform. In addition to offering an embedded, highly secure, and patent backed product, Aptech will offer licensing agreements for its intellectual property. The company anticipates generating revenues from the Hot Hand IP near the end of the first quarter of 2023. And I think I got one more good piece of information here. Where is it? There it is. Aptech's platform is currently in the testing phase with an expected general launch date occurring in the fourth quarter of 2022, right now, folks. The platform will be delivering a best-in-class financial technologies and capabilities through an ever-evolving modular cloud edge-based platform. The platform houses a large array of financial products and services that can be taken off the shelf or consumed in a via modem API. 
Within its platform, Aptech offers three primary products, payments as a service, banking as a service, and commerce as a service. The platform also incorporates Aptech's core patented text payment and geofence triggered e-commerce and or advertising via cell phone capabilities. The company believes that these features will be particularly beneficial for the unbanked and the underbanked in developing or emerging markets. And that is one of the biggest things that most of these fintech companies are interested in, the unbanked and the underbanked. There are lots of people in the world that do not have banking accounts for one reason or another, but they have cash, they have assets someplace, but they can't move them around without a bank. This is going to solve that problem. We're taking a look at APCX on my Think or Swim trading platform. This is free, and if you like it, you can get it too. All you do is go over to TD Ameritrade, sign up for their free trading account, keep your account open, that's all you gotta do, and you can use this anytime you want, absolutely free. So this is APCX six month, four hour view. We got a high bubble back here in April of $2.35 and a low bubble maybe 10 or 12 days ago of just over 40 cents. Had a lot of volatility back here. Look at these big, big drops, huge bounces up. And once she hit that high bubble, she took the biggest drop she's ever had. And she was down here quite a while, had another bounce here of about 100%. Not quite sure what that was about. Had another drop right after that surge. Went sideways with another drop right now. Hit that low bubble and is now starting to climb up. We see the volume is getting strong these last two days. The first real build up, the first indicator, and our technicals are very strong. Our RSI is still in the red, over 70. Our MACD is barreling towards the moon right now. And our PPO, which is a lot like the MACD, except it works with a percentage of the price instead of the whole price, it too is trying to reach the stars. Now, I see a pattern here I want to point out to you folks. My PPO on the top is on top of my ADX. The ADX, the red line here, this is trend continuation or trend change, whichever way you want to think about it. If you look right in this area right here, you can see it's almost a mirror image, right? This one's coming down, this one's coming up, and then it got real close right here, and then they start spreading apart. What this is all about is the direction of the trend. When these two lines are coming together, the blue is coming down, the red is coming up, your price is falling, guaranteed. When they get super close and then start to spread apart, as soon as they start to create that V and spread apart, guaranteed, your price is gonna go up. And I put this line here so you could see right when it stopped falling and started climbing is when all of these technicals changed. Everything took a change right there. And it looks like, because they're still spread out, that it still wants to climb. Let's take a look at our 20-day, one-hour view. All right, she was minding her own business here, just laying around the 200. Fell down to that low, took a couple days to get her head straight, and then it's taken off for what? One, two, three, four, five days she has been climbing without ceasing and does not look like she wants to stop. Technicals say there is still a lot of heat in this chart and it wants to continue growing. Let's look at our five day, five minute. Woohoo, look at that. That is a juicy chart. We got our low bubble in this corner, high bubble in that corner, gains every single day. Looking great. And you can see, you, we had a short day here, a little bit longer, little bit longer. Every day is getting more trading activity. We're getting more volume, more trades, prices going up. Look at that 200 day SMA swooping right on up. Everything looks really, really good with this folks. The technicals look a wee bit cool right now, but I do see that is coming from the aftermarket activity. Folks, I really like this company. I really do. This company is just now launching. How many times have I said that to you? And that's the reason I'm sharing it with you. They have got IP that has been being used by major corporations around the world for a very long time. They have proven that this technology works. And now this company is coming out with that technology that belongs to them and they're putting it to use for themselves. Folks, I see this company getting huge. I can't even imagine how big. I see a 10 bagger. Oh yeah. How about a hundred bagger? Yes, I do folks. You're probably going to make some money on this in a day trade. 
I don't see why not. And you're probably going to make some money on a swing hold. I don't see why not. But a long hold, whoa. Folks, I think this is going to be huge. Digital payments are huge around the world. More money moves digitally than it does physically, and everybody wants a piece of that pie. And the major companies using this program, the huge corporations, they're gonna save millions and millions of dollars in fees. Your mid-sized companies are gonna save hundreds of thousands of dollars in fees. And the consumers are definitely gonna get a break too. They're gonna to be saving money as well. And it gets easier for them, right? They get to do everything they want to do without having to jump around or hear the word no and for the unbanked this is going to be great you don't need a banking account to move your cryptocurrency this app is going to take care of it all i love this company folks i am highly advising that you do some due diligence right now and pay attention because the company is coming out with a big announcement any moment could be while i'm talking for all i know honestly i like what i am hearing i like what i see and i think you will too if you just dig a little bit deeper remember folks the more you know the more you're gonna grow see ya